Hi there! My name is Anna. In this video, we will talk about IT service provider management. Businesses rely on information technology for fulfilling critical functions. These IT functions are managed by the organizations in different ways. There are three main ways in which IT functions are managed. Outsourcing is a business strategy whereby certain operations are outsourced to an external service provider. Outsourcing is a practice usually undertaken by companies as a cost-cutting measure. Insourcing is when the IT function is set up within the organization. Insourcing of IT function is carried out when the company already has an existing infrastructure to manage those tasks. Hybrid sourcing is the mix of outsourcing and insourcing. Hybrid sourcing allows your IT functions to be outsourced to third parties. It however allows the organization to have management control of the outsourced IT functions. Before an organization acquires a vendor for the outsourcing and IT function it must Define the IT function that is to be outsourced Define the required level of the service required from the vendor The organization must define the metrics that will be used to measure the performance of the service Compare the cost of insourcing the IT function with the third-party bids Perform due diligence reviews of potential service providers This involves analyzing the practices of these service providers before you acquire their services Review all the contractual and regulatory requirements that must be fulfilled. Outsourcing the IT functions can have several challenges. Companies must take proactive steps to ensure optimal performance and security. Let's review the best practices for outsourcing IT functions. The organization must include a service level agreement in the contract with the vendor. This agreement defines the level of service expected by the customer. It also includes remedies or penalties for not achieving the agreed-on service levels. The organization must incorporate capacity management criteria in service level agreement with the vendor. Capacity management ensure that adequate capacity is available at all times to meet the agreed business needs for the IT service. The organization must require the vendor to sign a confidentiality agreement to not disclose any confidential company information or use it for any other purpose than those specified in the contract. The organization must require the vendor to have suitable provisions for disruptions in the IT service. These provisions must be thoroughly tested on a regular basis. The organization must have a right to audit clause in the contract. It means the company reserves the right to audit vendors' operations if there is ever a need to do so. The organization must require the vendor to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the organization-owned data. It must also clearly establish the ownership of this data. The vendor must comply with all the applicable legal and regulatory requirements. The organization must require that the vendor follow the organization's policies, including the organization's security policy. Governance of IT outsourcing refers to the rules, policies, and processes used to manage third-party IT service providers. Governance of outsourcing plays a major role in almost every organization. It ensures that the organization and service provider adopt a common and consistent approach to satisfy the needs of stakeholders. The objectives of outsourcing governance include regularly reviewing the terms and conditions of the contract to ensure that it remains viable, defining an explicit governance schedule in the contract. This governance schedule contains the definition of the assets and the processes to which the legal agreements apply, ensuring the compliance to contractual obligations using service level agreements, managing all stakeholders, their relationships and expectations. It also involves ongoing communication among all stakeholders, establishing clear roles and responsibilities for important issues. These include decision-making, issue escalation, dispute management, demand management, and service delivery, evaluating performance, cost, user satisfaction, and effectiveness of the IT service. Cloud computing is on-demand delivery of IT resources such as servers, storage, databases, etc. to the client over the internet. Cloud computing services are the most common form of outsourced IT functions. Cloud governance is the set of rules and policies used to manage the use of cloud services in an organization. The goal of cloud governance is to ensure data security, reduce risk, and manage the operations of cloud systems. The use of third-party service providers can help businesses reduce costs and increase their productivity. Efficient service provider management also decreases risk and liabilities associated with the use of external IT services. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!